The 15-inch Surface Laptop 3 is a bit of a chameleon. It looks a lot like the 13-inch Surface Laptop that we know and love, but under the hood, it's another story entirely. Microsoft worked together with AMD to create a custom Ryzen chip with Radeon RX Vega graphics. For the first time, there's an ultra-portable Surface with a decent GPU. But what does that really actually mean? Well, it's complicated. First, we have to ask why Microsoft would make a 15-inch Surface laptop in the first place. The Surface Book 2 is also available in that size, but it's bulkier and more focused on heavy-duty performance. So maybe Microsoft wanted to fill that gap between its 13-inch ultra-portable and its 15-inch workhorse notebooks. So why not just build a bigger ultra-portable? The 15-inch Laptop 3 clocks in at 3.4 pounds, almost a full pound lighter than the Surface Book 2. And while it's not as impressively light as LG's featherweight 2.4 pound Gram 15, the Laptop 3 is still light enough to tempt over potential ultra-portable buyers who may want a bigger screen. And with that AMD chip, Microsoft can also position it as something for when you need a bit of extra processing power too. For the most part, the 15-inch Laptop 3 impressed us with its performance. Our review unit featured the top-end Ryzen 7 3780U with Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics and 16GB of RAM. In the PC Mark 10 benchmark, it scored higher than Dell's XPS 13 with an 8th gen Intel CPU, but well below the latest XPS 15 with a powerful Core i9 chip. And when it came to games, I was able to play Overwatch with medium settings in 1080p at around 60fps. That resolution was skewed a bit by the Laptop 3's extra tall 3x2 screen, so I ended up playing in 1872x1248 to get the proportions right. But honestly, I didn't mind the black bars when Overwatch was running above 70fps. The 15-inch Surface Laptop 3 also excelled at productivity work. Its large screen gave me even more room to dive into web pages and documents. And the display itself is also excellent, like the rest of the Surface lineup. Colors pop off the screen, making it a great laptop for reading comics, working on photos, or watching movies. Just be aware that you'll have to deal with black bars on all widescreen content. Clearly, AMD was able to craft a chip that can do more than you'd expect on a typical ultra-portable. Intel's latest 10th gen chips feature more powerful integrated graphics than ever before, but they still can't compare to these custom Ryzen's that borrow components from the Radeon RX Vega 11 dedicated GPU. Mission accomplished, Microsoft. What's more impressive is that the company didn't have to change the design of the Surface Laptop very much. Honestly, it's easy to mistake it for the smaller version unless they're side by side. The 15 inch model is bigger, of course, but it's still very thin and elegant. It also keeps the air of simplicity we've seen with the Surface Laptop line so far. There aren't any extra media keys or distracting lights. It's just keyboard, trackpad, and an impressively large screen. Speaking of those input devices, Microsoft has delivered one of the best keyboards we've ever seen on the Laptop 3. Typing felt almost as fulfilling as a desktop keyboard, thanks to a luxurious amount of key travel and plenty of spacing between the keys. The trackpad is enormous, smooth, and a dream to use. Microsoft is basically putting every PC maker to shame who can't get these components right. But even though the 15-inch Laptop 3 is being positioned as more of a workhorse than the 13-inch, it's not really equipped to handle many accessories. There are USB 3.0 and USB-C connections, which thankfully can be used to charge the laptop, as well as Microsoft's proprietary Surface ports. But there's no SD card reader and no Thunderbolt 3 ports for high-speed accessories like external GPU docks. I didn't really expect Microsoft to make the Laptop 3 as port-laden as the Surface Book 2, but a few more options would have been nice. And that's pretty representative of the Laptop 3 as a whole. It tries to straddle the line between being an ultra-portable and a more powerful laptop, but that leads to compromises in both respects. It's not the lightest 15-inch notebook around, and it's not as capable as larger workstations. You'll also pay quite a bit for the privilege of owning one. The 15-inch Laptop 3 starts at $1199, but if you want the high-end version that we reviewed, you'd have to shell out $2099. And at that point, you're better off getting the slightly heavier XPS 15 with a much faster Intel 6-core CPU and true dedicated NVIDIA graphics for $1500. Basically, it seems like the 15-inch Surface Laptop 3 is for somebody who loves the design of Microsoft's Ultra Portable, but just wants a slightly bigger screen. In that respect, it delivers. I just wish Microsoft pushed a bit harder to make it more capable for power users. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for all of our laptop reviews. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe.